Hi everyone, this is Rick from Excel Gorilla. And today I will show you how to group your data using Power Query. And grouping your data or summarizing your data can be very useful to reduce the amount of data in your worksheet. If you want to summarize the table shown on the left by product, you could use a pivot table like this one. Yet the same goal can be achieved using Power Query. So how do you do that? First of all, we need to import the data into Power Query. To do that, make sure to select a cell within the table, then click on the Data tab, and click on From Table slash Range. This pulls the data into Power Query. The next step is then to summarize the data per product. And we can use the Group By functionality for that. So make sure that you are in the Home tab, then click on Group By, and you now get to choose how to group your data. Now, first I specify to summarize our data by product right here. And second, I tell Power Query to sum up the underlying rows in the sales column. Uh, this column I will call sales. We sum it up and the data to sum up is in the column sales. Now click OK. Your data is now summarized on product level. And where before we had 12 rows, the group by functionality has now summarized the data to only three rows. If you want these results to be on your Excel worksheet, for example, you go to close and load, close and load two, and you now get to choose how to import your data. In this case, I select table in the existing worksheet, and I would have the table start in cell A15. And that's how you use the basic group buying functionality in Power Query. As you can see, the results are very similar to making a pivot table. Thanks for watching.